Spark. What's up guys, Jason Lohr here with Jason Lohr for Doc Van Films and today we're going to be watching a clip from the movie Mortal Kombat. Now this is the Mortal Kombat that came out back in 1995. So in this clip, uh, it's going to be uh, the three heroes, uh, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, and Sonya Blade consulting with the Thunder God Raiden on how they're going to beat the unstoppable opponent, uh, Goro, after annihilating almost like half of like the roster in the Mortal Kombat tournament. But the one thing I want you guys to pay attention to is what Raiden talks about of each of these characters. And that is, you know, their fears, which they need to overcome in order to, you know, progress on and win the tournament and save the world. So that's very important. I will stop it at some point, too, just to point out some of the little details about each of the fears and how, you know, it makes them unique and also how we can relate to each of these characters. So let's go ahead and get started. We can't win now. How could we possibly beat something like that? Good question. Goro can be killed. Shang Tsung's power can be destroyed by mortal men and women. You can overcome any adversary, no matter how bizarre their powers may seem. Or how many arms they There's have. always a way. Uppercut. Only one thing or can defeat feet. you. So who says we're afraid? You must first face your fears if you are to conquer them. You, Johnny, are afraid you are fake. So you'll rush into any fight just to prove you're not. You'll fight bravely enough, but foolishly, carelessly, and you'll be beaten. Yeah, you can see in his eyes. Yeah, okay, you kind of got me there. But, I mean, uh, you think back to the first time you see Johnny Cage, right? When he was uh, shooting his movie. And, basically, he's doing it because he wants to prove to the world that he's a really great martial artist. But the whole world sees him as a fake because it's just, you know, movies that he's doing. And so, um, when it comes down to what Raiden said about, like, you know, him being afraid of, you know, being a fake, you know, that's the reason. It's like he's trying to show the world that he's not, and that's where his ego comes in. And if you remember uh, Master Boyd, or supposedly Master Boyd, uh, told him about uh, Mortal Kombat and how if he competes and wins, then he can show the world that he's the real deal. But the thing was that, like, he didn't even bother to ask you know, what exactly is the tournament and what is the risk or the catch of it? And to which he finds out later on, you know, it's a tournament that determines, you know, the fate of the world and all those that are in it. So um, that's part of like what Raiden said too, is like rushing into a fight just to prove that you're not. And, you know, so far he's fought bravely, but he almost got killed. And so not just that, but he could end up getting his, you know, his two companions, uh, Liu Kang and Sonya, killed at the same time, as well as possibly losing the tournament and, um, you know, putting the world at danger. So that's one fear that he has to get over, which he ends up doing because now he has found a purpose and a reason for fighting other than for himself. It was for, you know, Sonya. You know, because, you know, secretly he was in love with Sonya and he does not want what's happened to everybody else to happen to her. And that's why he went into the fight now with a plan versus before without a plan. So having to overcome this fear was absolutely important to his character. And I think this relates to a lot of us, you know, especially when we were young. Like, we were just, like, jumping into fights and not even thinking about it. So, I'd say, like, you know, this is one of the things that, you know, relates to a lot of people, too. Even to this day, to where people who are, even though older now, like, they are still pretty reckless. So, uh, that's Johnny Cage for you guys. You 
Sonia. I'm afraid to admit even you sometimes need help. Yep, you can see in her eyes too, like she's thinking about it and she does, she does like admit in the sense that he's right. Like you can tell by her eyes. And, you know, first time seeing her when she was raiding the uh, Black Dragons nightclub, you know, with her uh, friend Jax, who um, she, you know, was really, you know, uncomfortable with, not with Jax, but just a team with her because to her, like, she literally doesn't trust anybody because she sees them as, you know, people that are going to get in her way and also not dependable because had that been the case, then, you know, her partner wouldn't have got killed by Kano, which is her whole reason for competing in the tournament is that she just wants to capture Kano and make him pay for what he did to her partner. And throughout the whole entire journey in the island, like she's been running off on her own. And, you know, when Johnny Cage and Luke Kang wanted to help, like she would just basically push them away and just, you know, again, just seeing them as like, you know, people that are going to get in her way. And, you know, again, that's just going back to her trust issues. And Raiden said it perfectly. If you're afraid to trust, then you will lose. And, to which, thankfully, she did overcome her fears because when Shang Tsung kidnapped her for the final tournament and tried to challenge her, like he tried to pressure her to where it's like, if you don't compete, then you automatically forfeit, which, you know, that's not true. It's like the person that Shang Tsung challenged has to accept the tournament or else there can be no final combat to where she put her trust in her friends uh, which is Liu Kang and Johnny Cage, who were, you know, going to be there to rescue her. And thankfully, with that trust, they did uh, come and rescue her. And that gave Liu Kang the chance to challenge uh, Shang Tsung to Mortal Kombat, to which he was meant to fight uh, Shang Tsung and not her or Johnny Cage. So the trust really goes a long way. And I think a lot of people have had trust issues i've had trust issues before too after like um experiencing my first betrayal or just having to be let down but you know in life you do have to eventually you know trust people as well in order to succeed and that's part of teamwork and you know this is a team of three who are trying to you know save the world so that's on your blade for you Wait. Wait. What about me? Oh, you. <laughs> you fear your own destiny. You already fled it once when you went to America. It has brought you guilt for the death of your brother. I am responsible for Chan's oh, death. Classic no. guilt trip. Every mortal is responsible for his own destiny. Chen believed this. Why can't you? I tried. Despair is the most dangerous fear of all. I know this. And so does Shang Tsung. He can peer into your soul and use the fear he sees there against you. you so, okay, of course, uh, like I said, just the whole, you know, guilt trip and guilt issue that he puts upon himself because we saw at the very beginning of the movie you know, his little brother, Chan, was competing in the tournament against Shang Tsung, to which he lost, and, you know, he lost not just his life, but also his soul. And Lu's been, just been feeling guilty ever since, because, you know, him being the older brother, he was supposed to compete in the tournament, but instead he ran away. And because of that, it cost him his brother's life. And that's just been eating him up this whole entire time, and also just been, you know, his only reason for competing in the tournament is just for vengeance and rage, not for the purpose of saving the world or his, you know, companions, but it was just all straight up vengeance. And because of that, like, it doesn't give him a clear purpose to, you know, fight in the tournament. Kind of like how Johnny Cage 
had to find a purpose for fighting. Same thing with uh, Sonya. So now Liu Kang has to find that way of, you know, overcoming his guilt and, you know, his fear in order to win the tournament. To which uh, Raiden said, you know, right there, straight up. It's like every man is responsible for his own destiny or any mortal is responsible for his or her own her des- and or his or her own destiny and you know that's why his little brother competed because you know he felt that that's what he needed to do that was his you know responsibility and you know that's also something that led to his death not that's something that Liu Kang or anyone else told him to do he chose it and now that's what Liu Kang has to do is he has to choose to win the tournament for all the right reasons. And when he finally comes to realize that, you know, it's not his fault, you know, because again, what Raiden said, everyone is responsible for their own destiny. So overcoming this fear is what led him to win the tournament and also saving earth from, you know, invasion. So, uh, this was definitely a fear that many have, especially those with uh, survivor's guilt to where they feel like, you know, they shouldn't even be alive. It should have been the other person instead. So this is a really uh, realistic a fear that many even to this day has. So that's a great connection with like audiences like that all right guys so that's it for this breakdown i hope you guys like it definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you guys want to check out more of these uh breakdowns as well or if you guys have your own suggestions definitely get over there and smash that subscribe button so that way you can get updates for any uh videos like this or any projects that i'll be working on but until then guys this is jason lord with jason lord photography and films bringing art stories and entertainment